Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the slopes in Super Mario Maker 2. So, first off, if you're looking for your slopes and you can't find them anywhere in your item menu, they're supposed to be in the gizmo section right here. If you can't find them, that's because you're using Super Mario... What is it? Super Mario 3D World right here. And there are no tracks in Super Mario 3D World, so... If you're using that, you cannot use tracks. I'm very sorry about that. Over here we've got, um, if you are using any of these four game styles, you can use normal tracks. And I'm going to be showing you all the variants and how you get them. Like these right here. So let's get started with the normal track. If you place in a tracks like this, it'll appear like this, just like this one. You can also place them in vertically. And what these kinds of tracks do, is so if I place a coin on them, you can see it bounces back and forth. There's these two squares on the sides of them. But if we look at a track like this, there's a square on this side. But there's not a square on this side. There's like this weird little dot over here. And you can see the coin just falls off when there's a little dot right here. We can see it's the same thing on this one. So when they have this kind of end, they fall off. And same thing with this one, except it's two ends having it. So you press a little arrow to flip it. They fall off on both sides, so the way you get it, like that, is when you place in your track, you'll probably already have one placed in. If not, you just select up here and you drag wherever you want your track to be. I think, I don't think you can just place it. If you try to place it, it'll just look like that. So you gotta drag, and to get the, the kind of special tracks, you gotta put your cursor on the square and you just gotta tap it. And it'll make it disappear and it'll fall off now. So you can see, once it reaches the end, it'll fall off. And you can do that to any tracks. I can do it to these down here. You can press it again to bring it back. So over here you can see we have a little platform. And it goes up a little diagonal slope, which you just do it like this. Or a diagonal... A diagonal track. The way you do that is just by moving it diagonally. But you can see there's a weird kind of curve right here, and you might be wondering how to do that. And the way you do that is by pressing and holding. You can see there's options here. I can curve it, and I can curve it any direction I want to. Just like that. And up ahead, you're gonna see something. You've probably seen these before. We go up, we go up the curved slopes, or the curved tracks. You can see it drops me off because the little dot's there. And you've probably seen these before where you can hit the little on-off switch to switch the tracks. And that's pretty cool, and then you can see there's a little dot right here, just like these little dots over here. And just drops me off. Near the ending. The way you get these little variants right here is, you actually just, uh, you get in your normal track line like this, and then where you want it to split ahead, you just tap and hold, and then you can see variations over here. And you can select them, and the ones with the little dots are gonna be the ones that happen when you hit the on-off switch. So you can see it switched right there, when I hit this on-off switch. And if you want on the other side, you can just tap the other side. And you might have an issue where you're not getting options right here. You might be trying to place them, and these are going to be all grayed out. And your level might look a little something like this. Let me show you. If you have any kind of blocks in the way... Like, if your track goes through a block system like this, and you try to create, you might see... Oh, it still lets me do it here, but... Sometimes, when you have too many things in the way, those options will be grayed out. So you're gonna have to, especially if you're like, maybe your track goes down here. And then you're trying to have them branch out. You can see all the options are grayed out, and this... This might be really confusing. You can't have a track like that down here. You have to move it up. So if your track's down here, you can press uh, the triggers and multi-grab it, and move it up. So you don't have to delete your whole track system. And then you can just press and hold, and you have your tracks. So yeah, that's pretty much tracks in Super Mario Maker 2. If there's, if you have any questions, please ask me, and um, goodbye.